Hey, welcome back to Timber Tuesday. It is a great warm 60 degree December day here in Tennessee. Tennessee is kind of crazy. Today it can be 60, I think like in three days from now, the high is gonna be like 30 and a low of like 17. So, hey, we're gonna take, uh, take advantage of that and make some lumber today. You guys come on. Hey, before we get started, I wanna tell you Merry Christmas for my family to yours. So let's get started on this log. So what we got here is a nice size uh, red oak piece that uh, was cut, I forget which tree, the trees are kind of blending together now, guys. I, some of them, I don't remember where this one came from. I think this come from the farm, uh, pretty sure it did. And it's got some nice crotch here we're gonna try to, uh, uh, to save and just see what the boards are gonna look like. We probably may end up just slabbing this to see what, what's inside of it. These, these logs here with this red oak has been disappointing in the past. We're getting the middle of them and there's a big black ant's nest. So we don't know what's in here. Let's, let's go check it out. We need some hydraulics. Do I have a hydraulic meal? I'm, I'm the hydraulic meal. My dream's coming true. That's right, I've always wanted a sawmill, so I guess I can't be too, too much complaining going on here. So let me see if I can rotate this by hand. Getting close there. Hope you guys can hear all the grunts. You know, the easiest thing to do would be like bring the tractor over here. I want this crotch lap to be flat like that. There we go. Yeah, it's still spun around. You suckers! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this one's gonna be ornery. I'm gonna have to pinch it. Well, first off, let me drop my, my back stops down so that uh, I won't cut those off. Knock on wood. I've yet to cu cut a back stop off yet. Hey, you knock when you say that. Yeah, what'd I say? I ain't worried about all that. It's just superstition. All right, so. Actually, I can actually do better on this side, pulling it, twisting and pulling towards me. All right, getting close. This tree's got a little bit of a bow in it, as they all do. All right, so my crotch is perfect right now. Let's go ahead and tighten this down and see what we can make happen. Curves over too much. And if you can see right here, the side of the sawmill is gonna hit this. So what I'm gonna do, in the past, I've just been not really thinking it through, and I was just uh, coming over here with a chainsaw and cutting it off. Well, I've learned that all you gotta do is put a sacrifice board in. And all right, we've probably got about, I don't know, probably about 10 hours, maybe 11 hours on the saw, 12 at the most. Oh yeah, it looks good. So we've had zero issues out of the saw other than the pot rivet that I broke off, but that was me. So to this point, we've had no issues out of the saw. And uh, it's, you know what I'm gonna do here, probably in January, I'm gonna pull this over into the shop and go ahead and service this thing, change the oil. And I also bought some spacers to go on these tires. When I built the trailer, I actually built the axle myself and I, I made the axle too small, too, too narrow. So I'm afraid the wheels are gonna rub when it goes down the road. So the spacers will bring them out and then we'll be ready to put some fenders on this thing. But anyway, before we get too much uh, more on that, let's get to sewing. So I've been following the guidelines in the manual. On the blade, it says to cut, or we tighten the blade up with five turns, let it hit the base of the spring and then five turns. And I'll tell you right now, I've had zero issues out of that as well. While this warms up, we're gonna get our first cut set up. Really not in 
the crotch yet, so I'm gonna take another pass. stabilizer in it as well Ooh, look at that I know that's the other one but still I want to see it here we go now this is every time I do this it's like Christmas so Red Oak is not really known for having just a super gorgeous crotch figure here but that's pretty I think when some stain gets on that it's gonna be pretty nice However, this is uh, some really good looking wood right here. It's a little start of that crotch right here. Neighbor John's coming. Hey, how's it going? Well, I ain't cut nothing off yet, so that's good. Got me some new uh, can hooks. This new can hook here is okay for smaller stuff. But I got some bigger stuff coming. That's just trash air. There's some poison ivy. Thought you might might want it. So that's so this point right here is seven foot. That's a nice mantle. Yeah. It's about eight and a half inches right now. If I cut it down to six inches, I would get all of this and then I could square it up as a nice uh, six, six inch wide or six inch tall and maybe eight inches wide, but it'd have this crotch figure in it here. It'd be really pretty right there in the middle. Look at that wood grain. What do you think about that? Should be good. Hey guys. 
But here's something else I've learned. Instead of ruining the face cut. Yeah, put it dig into your scrap. Yeah. You can cut right through that as well. Y'all need to make another one, I guess. Make me a veneer cut. It's just a really thin cut. Pretty precise for a bandsaw mill, ain't it? Sure is. Look at that. If I gotta do it, I've always wanted to do it. Let me see. I see them do it on the on the TV. Well, it's oak. They do it with pine. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Yeah. Now we shouldn't need these. Yeah, take it all the way out. These got back stops here. And what we'll do is push it over, and then we'll rotate it up like this. And then we'll push it over all the way to the side. Yes, sir. Cut it this side. Would it be better for a green? I don't know. Or well, it probably would be. You're gonna once I get to there, it's gonna have that pretty grain there too. Okay. So right now we're this, this is this is just sap wood right here. Yeah. But I mean, I could go with a. I could get some eight-inch boards out of it versus six. I think we'll go that way. I like how you're thinking. You can always cut an eight inch to six, but you can't cut a six to eight.
10,000 years bright shining as the sun we've loved days to sing God's grace then when we first begun well guys this never gets old uh, i'm i think the word is an affinity i'm getting an affinity for red oak i can just see that what it's going to look like when we finish it into something and it's got a clear coat of polyurethane on it doesn't need anything else it's just the natural it looks beautiful just the way it is so this water is really bringing out the green hey if you like this uh, I, I really appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Yeah, do all of those at once really fast. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, hey, uh, thank you for watching our channel. God bless. Merry Christmas. Have a great night.